uh so i don't know if you know this but tiktok is kind of great for stalkers tiktok is kind of great for stalkers i think this is the scariest trend yet and i want to discuss that today so if that's anything you'd like to listen to then keep on watching hi i'm q and welcome back to my tips so i've kind of been talking about <laughs> My different experiences using like certain social medias and like needing to be careful and like I've started to kind of talk about how I feel a lot of people lack privacy on a lot of social media like there's no privacy protection in place which is what makes me so wary about social media sometimes but you know I talked about that with LinkedIn but now I kind of want to talk about it with TikTok because this is what I'm saying this is the stuff that I'm saying and we have to connect the dots together TikTok is really, really great for stalkers, I'm starting to see, and we need to discuss this. With that, let us begin. So the first thing that I noticed, that I noticed after a certain point was that the internet is not a safe space. I feel like earlier on where, you know, government infrastructure wasn't built out enough, well, yes it was, like five years ago, yes it was, like I think maybe 10 years ago, maybe no, but, you know, now I would say the government has like a solid handle on what it is they need to see in terms of people, how they need to trace people, how they need to track people, how they need to track certain terms that people search up. Like, I, I don't know if you guys know this, like there are certain things that you could search up that are known as um, like siren words, like words where people have to put like an asterisk. And if you search these things up enough you know, you could be, you could be put on a list. You could be put on a list. You could be visited by somebody after a certain point. Um, you guys could, you know, guess what, obviously like someone dying or kidnapping, or, you know, anything like that. So, you know, I feel like we already know that there are restrictions. There are like, un, they're like not really talked about, but known restrictions in terms of using the internet. But to be honest, I feel like the best place to start here is that the internet is not a safe space. I've talked about this before, but the internet is not a safe space. The internet is not a safe space. And I've been telling some people like in the Discord, I've been telling like friends that I know in real life, like there are certain things that I wanna talk about, but I feel like I don't feel these things should be talked about in the public. Like, I feel like we need to have the conversation, but it needs to be somewhere private. One of those things, I wanted to talk about how I feel like the luxury movement is scamming black women. Like, I feel like you guys are scamming and taking advantage of black women. I feel like, yeah, I feel like you're full of shit. I feel like you're full of shit. We all know that people will not have access to these sort of things ever in their lifetime. Like, maybe we should kind of change the definition of what it means to kind of have things, but no. Um, and, and now I'm noticing like whenever people get called out, they kind of start to change like, you know, the nuance or definition of what they mean by luxury. But that's another conversation for another day. Long story short, I didn't want to talk about it in public because I was like, the conversation needs to be had. But some of you are not serious. Some of you are kind of weird, kind of weirdo behavior. And that's kind of where we're at. So, you know, I think suffice to say the internet is not not a safe space it's not even that people can't express themselves it's not even that there isn't a place to have these conversations but out in the public i believe this is no longer the case and so the same way and how i feel like there are certain conversations that could be had but maybe not publicly is the same way that i feel like there are certain manners in which you might want to express yourself or to showcase yourself in front of your friends or maybe sometimes people that don't even know you but it's too much so why is this coming up today? What is this coming up as? I was scrolling, um, I was scrolling through my text messages. I received a text message from my friend about a video that she saw where I guess this woman, she was talking about someone dating or something that had to do with some guy and somebody paused the video. So they, I think, stitched the video. I think that's what the term is called. They stitched the video with that original TikTok video, found her, reverse searched like her username, was able to, I think, find like a LinkedIn or like a number or somebody who knows her, was able to backtrace that person to like LinkedIn, which I've already talked about how I feel like LinkedIn is, it has way too much information about you and how I feel like if people have access to stuff like that, I think someone could find their way in front of you that you don't know off of the information. I feel like someone could stalk you off of a LinkedIn. I'm being like completely honest. I feel like someone could literally find where you live off of a LinkedIn profile, but 
another conversation for another day. So yeah, this person was able to backtrack and backtrace, you know, hashtag Mission Impossible, you know, series five like they were able to find this girl they were able to find her legal name they were able to find what neighborhood she lived in they were able to find her family members they were even able to like reverse search a phone number a phone number and i said to myself you see this is what i mean when i say like there's way too much access there's no protections of privacy. And I wanna discuss that. I think like we need to talk about it. So, you know, I think the next thing I kind of wanna say in terms of, you know, the internet is not a safe space. It's kind of interesting. Like the video that I was watching, this person was like user 736 something, something, something. And I'm like, it's kind of funny. Like, so you can see me, but I can't see you. And I know sometimes people complain about this for on Twitter, sometimes the same thing, people reply to your stuff, but they're on private. And it feels like all these people kind of just get to watch you, but you never have the ability to turn the mirror back on them, which sometimes I feel is a little creepy, which is also why there are certain things that I would never talk about on this channel, right? Like there are certain things like, you know, you guys know like, my roast can only go so far. I don't feel comfortable talking about people's looks. I'm not going to call somebody ugly. Like, it's not fair. Like, you know, it's not fair. Like, how is it possible you get to be an automaton? But you're here saying all this cash shit. Like, it's not fair. Like, you know, there's certain things that I just will not say, you know, here. And I and I think I've actually I've been doing pretty well. I've kept to it. Um, but yeah, I feel like some of these ways in which people can see you, but you can't see them, I think is a psyop. I think it's a psychological operation. I think that the ways in which you feel like somebody is watching you, but you can't watch somebody else is a problem. Because that leads me to my next thing. I think that like when it comes to social media, like unless they're able to implement stronger privacy protection laws, especially for minors, because I was just like, if this person can do this off of like a photo <laughs> and like a reconfiguration of somebody's name of like your your legal name and they found you they found where you live they found like a linkedin they found like your address they found like your first and second circle of friends they then they were able to take that address and zip code to, to plug into like a paid service to find like three potential phone numbers one of which was yours then for sure if you're like a minor i feel like I, I almost feel like you should be operating under like a complete pseudonym, like a complete pseudonym, like it, the ways in which people use like Reddit, which I don't use Reddit, but I heard like for Reddit, you do not use like you, your username is like a user name. Like, you know, it is not your name. It is a name, a phallus, like it is something completely made up because the nature of Reddit is you best make sure we don't find out who you are unless it's like an ask me anything, right? So going back to kind of how I feel like part of social media is a psyop because people can watch you, but you can't watch them. I feel like the only like rational solution to something like this is that you, not like misrepresent yourself, but you kind of put like a shadow over yourself. You put kind of like a translucent kind of opaque filter over yourself. Because why not? I think like, unless you're completely okay with like what you've portrayed on social media and that, but we've already found like, even for social media peoples, like people have still been able to find them and stalk them off of like information they show. And now you have like Instagram models going on Instagram live. You got YouTubers going on YouTube live or saying, slipping in their videos. Like they can't even show parts of their apartment, right? They don't even show certain ways, like maybe like their cabinets or like the way light shines in on their apartment or like maybe even like community, like, you know, um, some apartment complexes, they have like a common room or like a pool or like they don't even show this sort of information anymore because people can literally find it. They can literally find where you live. They can literally find where you live from like the cabinetry, you know, the hardware on your cabinets or the type of bathroom you have. Or if you show outside of a window, you can see like the street, like, you know what I mean? Like, so now people have gotten really, really careful in terms of what they show and what they say. But I feel like people should go even a step further than that. I feel like, you know, until there's maybe proper like protection of privacy, I, I wonder if it would even be better for people to just come up with like 
complete pseudonyms like complete like pseudonyms complete name like just have it written out like on the internet i am known as clamantha or on the internet i'm known as schmabel from like gravity falls i don't know or dipper or like something like that so that they can construct identities and express themselves safely without having to fear that they could be pursued or searched up by random people on the internet you know so you know with that said i feel like connecting your real self to the internet i think in some regards can be overrated especially if you think you could be concerned about how you're seen i think that you can still showcase yourself you know which we're going to talk about at the end like where do, what do you do if you know people can find you <laughs> um we'll discuss that in a second but i think that like legalities are like not in place to protect people and so if you're someone that you maybe you don't really see yourself as like an influencer you know like you you if there's like something in your mind that tells you that for whatever reason if any of my videos blow up i'm just having fun with my friends and i'm just showing these things and i could possibly be concerned about the way that people can connect my social media back to my real life then at the very beginning i think yeah like come up with your own kind of persona like come up with like a persona that you know yeah people can see your face so people will be able to recognize you at some point like you know you're not wearing like a metamorphosis mask like people in your real life would be able to tell if you're like in a video with a million views oh i think i know this person you know but outside of that you know find other ways to kind of lock down things about you i say this a lot in lives i really do miss the lives um about how like I have to be careful saying some of the stuff in my life because I consider it identifiable information like you know what I mean like I consider maybe a job that I work that's very specific in fact that's how people recommend you search people up on like tinder and bumble maybe they come up with a name that's not entirely true or they're lying about their height or whatever but people seem to put really accurate job descriptions of what they do which you're able to find them with like a reverse image search in combination with a job title and location and next thing you know they've pulled up your linkedin which has all the information like where you went to high school maybe where you went to college where you work you know linkedin also recommends you put a location so it's city specific like you know so it's like i think i think people i don't know i think that if you're concerned you should be <laughs> and i think that there's no problem with kind of manufacturing things it's like how also some people talk about co-workers and it's like when co-workers pry into your life even though it's none of their business sometimes what some people do is they completely make shit up because there's like this is none of your business and please i'm not gonna get written up by hr for not being sociable with you so i'm just gonna lie i'm a pink platypus with dragon wings like what did azula say <laughs> what did azula say so you know that's kind of my thoughts on that I think I think I want to transition this video a little bit. Um, you know, TikTok is great for stalkers. You know, TikTok is great for stalkers. I think the part two of what I want to say is I think the second part I want to say is like the way that social media is being used, I think is changing in a way where I feel like people need to use some of these platforms for utility. Um, I've talked about this with my friends, but I feel like, and I've been telling my friends this, I feel like social media isn't fun anymore. Um, I do YouTube because I think it's really fun. I love like chatting. I love discussing these things in my tapes with you guys. But I notice like people aren't having fun. You know what I mean? Like Twitter, it's like, it's not fun. It's too stressful. Some people, they don't have a good filter list. So they're being shown content that's very much jarring, very much traumatizing, very much triggering. Um, you know, some people, they don't want to make an Instagram because it's like, oh, everybody can see me. I feel like I'm being judged. I always have to be polished. And then, of course, people in your friends and family can see the stuff that you put on Instagram if they know you versus if you created a persona. Like, you know, and it's just like, and you started from zero. And maybe if your friends find the account, they find it. But by then, obviously, it's too late. <laughs> um, and of course, Facebook does this thing with Instagram because obviously Facebook owns Instagram. But Facebook does this as well, the app, where they suggest people that know you like, or if they're in proximity to you. And it's so weird. It's like people who you are around, like one day you're, they're being suggested in your profile. And it's like, I don't, you don't even have my phone number. How, why are you being suggested? It's just weird. It's just really weird. But, you know, what I was trying to say here is that I feel like 
social media isn't fun anymore. Like, I feel like it's not fun anymore. Like, people who are here wanting to make a Twitter, they want to make a Twitter, like, to discuss business things, you know? They, they want to discuss the things that they do at work because it's like they're also trying to parlay it into, like, a job or an opportunity. And it's like, dang! Will we ever see rest? Will we ever see rest? You know, will we ever get to this point where we can just kind of have something and just express ourselves without it needing to be anything? Like, what if it doesn't need to be anything? Like, I think if you make money from your intellectual property, that's cool. And that's actually not what I'm referring to. I'm just more so saying like, people feeling like they have to engage on social media in ways that they probably wouldn't for financial security, you know? And I feel like that's kind of where I'm seeing like a lot of social media turning. I feel like rarely, I don't really know that many like social media platforms where people can just get on and have fun. And yeah, they could build it, they could monetize it at some point, but like, it's not the culture, like, you know what I mean? And some people would say that TikTok is like a good description of a type of platform where you have no expectations whether or not you're going to be able to make a career out of it. So I guess just put whatever you want, 15 seconds <laughs> or more. Um, so yeah, I'm. these are the things that I've been thinking about. TikTok is really great for stalkers. Um, I feel like some people should probably change their username. I was actually watching another video from a Black woman saying how, you know, you should probably not be using your name on the internet even if even if you wanted to connect something you did for your job even if you want to talk about stuff you do for work like maybe you should keep these things completely separate until you are extremely sure you would feel comfortable having like this sort of information out there once again it's not that people can't find you but maybe making it a little bit harder for people to trace things to you you know I don't know. I want to hear you guys' thoughts on this. So this is another one of my tapes. Thank you so much for watching. TikTok is kind of great for stalkers. It's it's kind of great for like connecting the dots. And, you know, the more and more people get caught in 4K, the more and more they, they get put on like the summer jam screen. So Godspeed. <laughs> I will be staying in this form until I decide to start my music career. <laughs> Um, and I'm sure when that time comes, people will obviously be able to recognize this voice, as I have been told multiple, multiple times. With that said, put like a pineapple emoji, like something sweet and sour. That's what I would describe, like kind of a pineapple, acidic almost, but really good. That's what I feel like social media is right now. <laughs> and with that, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.